revolves. As seen from its north pole, it goes around anti-clockwise around the sun, and then it also rotates anti-clockwise. Okay, so watch this. Here we go. And this is, by the way, the limit of my coordination. I can't do anything else. I can't juggle. Okay, I can't trap a soccer ball. Okay, but I can spin myself and move to the side at the same time. Okay. Okay. Here we go. High noon. I have now completed one rotation, have I not? I'm pointed the same way with respect to the stars, okay? Is it high noon yet? No, it's 23 hours, 56 minutes, four seconds now, and now it's 24 hours. That's cool, isn't that cool? So it could have been either way, right? If the Earth rotated, anyway, you can think about it, right? The fact that it rotates the same direction makes the, the sidereal day less than the solar day. Isn't that weird? Sidereal is with respect to the stars, so. Okay, so a geostationary orbit, T is 23 times 3600 plus um, 56 times 60 plus 4. What is that? What is the period of a sidereal day for the second? Jen is calculating it for us. What is it? 86164, is that what it is? I was going to blurt that out, but I didn't want to spoil the, the beautifulness. I think that's a very attractive number, don't you think? Makes me happy anyway, right? Which one are we going to use? If we know the period, which orbital condition? Yeah, let's use this one, right? Okay, and this is where, you know, the going gets rough, okay? So f mass of the satellite, 4 pi squared r over t squared is g mass of the central body, mass of the satellite over r squared. And what are we solving for? What r are we solving for? I'm trying to find r. How far out is the geostationary orbit, right? Um, what do we do? Yeah, let's get rid of these guys, right? That, that makes me happy. And then I think in general we cross multiply, don't we? If you've forgotten, GMC T squared equals 4 pi squared R to the third, right? Holy cube root, Batman. Yeah. Right, so you just, just do what the math teachers taught you to do. This times this, this times this, right? And then divide by 4 pi squared. Jordan Raffo, come in here and show us your sweater. Come here, come here, come here. There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. That made me happy. Okay. And then what are we going to do? I think we're going to do cube root, yeah? Holy complicated. This is, by the way, as complicated as, as orbit problems ever get. Okay. So it's the cube root of this whole thing, right? Um, and that's going to be a pain, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. Do you know that there is a cube root? It's like you have to go second math and you can find it. It's right in there. Okay. So in your calculator, I know it's like advanced, right? Just go, where's math? There it is. It's just math, right? And the cube root is right there. Okay. So barf up the cube root and it's uh, 6.67, right? So it's cube root, left parenthesis, 6.67. E minus 11 times 5.98 E24 times 86164, 86164 squared divided by 4 divided by pi squared, right parenthesis. Yeah? Notice that I'm saying divided by 4 divided by pi squared. What if I say divided by 4 times pi squared? It's going to multiply by pi squared. And put it in the numerator, okay? Unless you do Wolfram Alpha, and then, then it'll assume that everything to the right is in the denominator, um, which is very cool. You can also just say divided by parentheses, if you really don't like that, parentheses 4 pi squared. Put that in parentheses, okay? And take the, yeah? So try that, what is it? 6.67 E minus 11 times 97 E 24 
And basically, whether you can do this problem or not is a reflection on your ability to type things into your calculator and express complicated algebraic expressions correctly in your calculator. I can do this because I have a degree in computer science. I mean, I don't want to brag too much, but... Except, yeah, I forgot the times in the... Yeah, I, right when I start bragging, I hate that. Okay. It definitely is not going to figure that one out, right? Divided by, I'm going to use the parentheses on this one, four times pi squared. I know it will infer multiplication if I just say four pi squared, but I like telling it that I want it multiplied. Yeah, I think that's right. Anybody else get that number? Check your expression. And then unhelpfully, it would be nice to have that number in, in scientific notation, wouldn't it? But there's no simple way to get it into scientific notation. So kids sit there with TI calculators and they're like counting the numbers, right? Doesn't even put commas in for you. Yeah. Oh, um, because seven is correct. And I, we always used to use 5.98 because I copied it out of my physics book from college, but apparently that was a fail. It must be very close to the boundary between the two. Yes, sir. Uh, why is there no decimal 86164? Because this is a comma. Oh, okay. There we have it. Unless you're in Europe and then it's the same as a, they use, yeah, decimals. So the answer is that R is equal to. Four two one four nine nine eight zero, which is forty two million, right? Uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And the radius of the Earth is about six million, yes? About six million meters? Yeah? Okay. And so the question is how many Earth radii is this? How many times? So divide this thing by six point three eight. E6, just for fun, so take that number on your calculator and divide by the radius of the Earth. Right. Yeah. Do you, do, you can get uh, the TI 84s in the scientific notation if you go mode and then. I know, and then everything's in scientific notation, right? right yeah. What I want is something that'll just, I want to hit a button and have it just change the display, toggle between, right? It doesn't, I know. So we, I, mean, I wonder if you could write like a little program that would do that. You could just like a boom, you know. I don't know. Or you, how about a, just use commas? Yeah, Wouldn't that be nice? I wonder if I wonder if you you know there's a new thing for the TI-83s that like when you do when you do this it does like it puts a line above it. Has anybody loaded that on their calculator? Yeah. Does you, so does yours do commas? Can you tell it to do commas? No. Didn't put commas in there. Isn't that sad. I want it to even. Show me, highlight the parentheses. So as I close parentheses, like in Excel, it highlights them and, and color codes them as to which parentheses goes with which one. But that would require a high resolution color display, wouldn't it? Not the same monochrome display that TIs have had for 20 years. Right? Okay, how many Earth radii is it? 6.61. 6.61 Earth radii. Where is it? Where's our, here it is. Okay. How far away is that? Yeah, that's kind of pretty far away. Let's let's say an Earth radius is like this, right? Like that distance is an Earth radius. So let's go 6.6 .6 from the center of this Earth. Here is 2 from the center, yes? This is 2 from the center. We're already 1 from the center, right? 2 from the center. 3, 4, 5, 6, point six. That's where the satellites are. They're way the and gone, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? They're like way out here. You can see where one geostationary satellite can get a whole hemisphere, pretty much, darn near, right? As this distance approaches infinity and infinity, right? You, you, the amount you can see approaches half the sphere. Yeah, kind of a thing. So yeah, concept one, one satellite can get all of North America. Right? In fact, there's quite a few places out here at this radius that are going to get North America. And, and baby, there's a lot of satellites there because we use a lot of satellites. Yeah? 